Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lloyd 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Chris? Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so explain to me what's going on with Avengers Endgame. What, you mean to talk about, like, them re-releasing it? Yeah, what, what is this thing about Unfinished? What I don't understand what's happening. So, apparently what they're saying is that this, quote-unquote, extra footage, or at least one of the scenes in there, is not finished yet. Um, I don't know if that means that they're still working on it and it's going to be finished by the time this, this comes out. It's Friday. So mo- what I'm thinking is either this p- report is wrong or they're still film- they're still working on it and they're going to ha- somehow have it done by Friday. Yeah, but when it... Okay, don't they have to send the prints or is it digital? I, I would assume it's digital. So they get it I immediately? I would assume so. I don't I mean, know. I, I don't work in the movie industry. It's Tuesday. I mean, it's, it's Wednesday now. Mm-hmm. So. Well, I, I, I just wouldn't put too much stock into this report. I, I, okay. This honestly sounds made up to me. But Do you think, though, that like they just – this whole purpose of re-releasing is to beat Avatar, right? Yes, I do. I, nobody will convince me otherwise. Right. I mean, because there's no reason to do this. Yes. And we've talked about it on here, saying that they'll probably do that the week before Far From Home. Excuse me, Far From Home, right? I mean... The only, the only thing I can think of is that this extra footage either has something to do with Far From Home or it leads into Far From Home somehow. That, that, that has to be, like, at least one of these scenes, because I heard, I heard that there were multiple things that they were doing. Yes, whether they were doing I don't know. Are they going to do something crazy like Stark AI or something? No, I, I don't think so. Like, in other words, you, you'll see his consciousness get uploaded into, like, Stark, whatever? No, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I think they left enough breadcrumbs in the, fir- in the first theatrical version of the movie to kind of hint at that. Because I'm telling you, you, you got to watch that scene where the hologram, quote-unquote hologram, is, is, is talking to... Pepper and his daughter and all the people that are in the room for his funeral, right? Yeah, I saw that. That hologram looks right at his daughter. Like it knows that she's there. Now you could say maybe it was programmed to have facial recognition so that it would do that, but that seems a little suspicious to me. That's just my opinion, that it looked right at her when it said what it was. Almost as though he was seeing from the future. Yeah, and well, it, seeing he said, from his his consciousness, like he said, "I love you 3,000. I mean, that you know, how did he? How would he even know that she was in the room? What, how how does he know that she was too distraught to 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 listen to the message? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It just seems a little suspicious to me that it was able to do that. Do they know he's in the computer? I don't think they know. No. But the computer, like, all his programs know that's him, that's him, right? Like, he probably has control over things, right? I, you know, honestly, right now, it's just speculation, so we, we can't really say. Um, right. Now, could that be a big reveal for the next phase? I think so. Um, but I don't know. It all, it all depends on what their, what their goal is moving forward. Because we, we could have... A, they could have a complete mindset of we're not relying on any of the old characters, just move forward with anybody who's new. In which okay. case, we don't see them anymore. I don't um, think that's going to work, but okay. I, I'm going to tell you why I think that is. Because anybody who thinks bl- that Scarlett Johansson's coming back as Black Widow, you're about to be very disappointed. Yeah. Very, very disappointed. I mean, is that why they have the new Black Widow in the car co- in, in the, in the, movie because there's, there was two black widows in the comics like when someone was another girl was trying to take over her role and that's supposed to be the, I'm gonna kind of tell you what came out about that yeah she's going to take over as black widow right well I, I can't say for sure but in this it, okay there's potential spoilers for the black widow film yeah from the set photography and and set videos that have been coming out because they are filming right now it definitely looks like she's at least in this movie, the um, Romanoff's apprentice, this new one. Mm-hmm. And it's being heavily implied that she takes over as black widow. 
And this takes place when? I heard that this takes place, I think it's between Civil War and Infinity War. Okay. Okay. So and she'll that, show up and just be a Black Widow in the new movies. Right. That, to me, means that they are heavily focusing on the new characters and moving away from some of the older ones. So they're just worried about the next generation. Basically, yeah. And they don't want to pay them anymore, obviously. Well, not, to be, that's not to be cold, but... It probably is, but, you know. Now, I heard... I don't know if this is true, Chris, and you can confirm this. I heard that James Gunn, like, like while he's doing Guardians 3, um, I guess he's not on board. He might not be on board with Thor being in the movie. Like, you know, people, he's like, absolutely not. It's not called as Guardians of the Galaxy and all that other stuff. He says, this is a continuation of what I've done with Guardians 1 and 2. So do you think he's going to, like, exit Thor out of there, or do you think he's going to implement him in this in the thing? So this is my thing with that. If he's not on board with it, I'm going to go the Ric Flair route here and say that he's going to have to learn to love it because if Disney wants him, wants Thor in that movie, they're going to go, hey, go put, Thor in, the movie, put yeah. Thor in the movie. Yeah, but I here's the thing. I, I heard that, you know, if he's not in the movie, he might be in it in the beginning and then the end or something. But oh, yeah, he, he doesn't have to be in the whole thing. But if right, in other words, he could leave, right? And then fight they, better Ray Bill at the end or something. Yeah, if they want him in the movie, if if Disney and Marvel say we want him in the movie, then James Gunn really doesn't have a choice. He's gonna have to just kind of suck it up and be like, okay, I got to make the best of this. You know what I'm saying? But right. I don't, I don't, I I don't know how much I believe that though because. It, I just can't see him being like, I don't want Thor in my movie. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, the- but here's the thing. It could be he just doesn't have space for that. Like, he wants to focus on Rocket and High Evolutionary and creating better rate. Better rate bills created by the High Evolutionary. And they're doing this whole thing with Drax and his daughter. And Unless he's there to hand off the uh, hammer to and then comes back. I mean, there's not room for any of this stuff. They, they, they're they going to deal with uh, Gamora. They're going to deal with Star-Lord. They're going to deal with Drax and his daughter and, and, and Rock, Rocket and his girlfriend and, and his creator. And there's too much stuff in there. Well, this is the thing. We, we, we have to kind of put aside everything that we've quote-unquote heard that the movie is about. Right. So we actually get an official look at it. Because they sit, they can say oh, it's going to be about this, and then they start filming it, and then they go, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, but somebody so, also leaked that after this Guardians movie, they're disbanded, and Star Lord's going to be in the Avengers. Yeah, see, I, I don't, I don't buy that. As well as probably it. Gamora and Nebula. There, there's no evidence to support that. So okay. that. Sounds like fantasy, and that somebody might die, supposedly. Okay, that's no. that's in every that's in every freaking Marvel movie. So. Yeah, no. yeah, there was one thing that seems to be confirmed, though. I'm not going to say what it is on here. Because what Drax dying? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with Guardians. Okay. Um, it has to do with a certain other upcoming Marvel film that I know that we're all somewhat looking forward to. Eternals. Huh? Eternals? No, I'm talking about Far From Home. Oh, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> I'm I not think you're being be... sarcastic that we were looking forward to. <laughs> I okay. am. Okay. okay. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but I, I've heard what the two after credit scenes are for the film. Okay. Confirmed, by the way. These are, these are legit. You are going to love the last after credit scene. You, now let me let me let me just say this, okay? I'm not again. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not even going to hint at what it is. But Joe, if the movie sucks, if they make Spider-Man grow wings and a scorpion tail and fly away into space, as long as this after credit scene is true, you are going to love this movie for the rest of your life. You are going to tell stories to your grandchildren <laughs> about how you saw this movie and you loved it for the rest of your When you walk up to the pearly white gates, you are, your first words to the 
heavenly creator are going to be thank you for making Spider-Man far from you. <laughs> <sighs> you did it. I'm telling you, man, if what I've heard is true and I've, and I've got it from everybody who's seen it, Oh boy! <laughs> can we say it on here or no? No, let's not. Can I, I guess? Like, you can guess, yeah. Will you tell me if I'm right? You know what? I, if you get this, I will. And now, don't, don't, don't lie to me here. If you know what it is, tell me. I don't know what it is. Okay. But I love Sam Raimi Spider Man. Uh-huh. I love Tobey Maguire. Uh-huh. So if you're telling me that they're going to do a Spider-Verse live action, and at the end, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man shows up with Andrew Garfield or even by himself, just Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire showing up as Spider-Man, I probably would lose my shit. And it would probably be a dream come true. Is it Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? No. No. But I'll love it. You're going to love it. You're going to it. You're gonna love it. All right. All right. I'll, 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 give you the, I'll give you the most vague. Way. Is it the Spider-Sense? No. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Okay. The reason it's I say Daily Bugle. It, it's something. J. That, Jordan Jameson. It's something that you've called in the past years ago. Years ago, I that called you, that you said was going to happen, and that if it happened, you would be completely satisfied with what they're doing. It's Me. something. Yes, it's something so small, but the inclusion of this would make you be so happy that you would be okay. Really? Yes. That I said would have to happen in Tom Holland's Spider. -Man. Yes. Actually, I think you may have said if it happens in Andrew Garfield's as well. And again, I'm saying it's something very small, but the fact that you called it and you were so adamant about it, again, if this is true, I get take this with a grain of salt, but again, everybody that I've talked to and all these channels to get everything right have said, this is what it is. I've seen it. Here it is. It, this thing being in this scene is going to make you so happy because you called it A and B. It's such a great thing to do that you're going to appreciate it a hell of a lot more than anything that happened Jesus. in Homecoming. I'm telling you. I, 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 I'll say it like this. When I first heard what it was, my first thought was I need more information. But I got a huge smile on my face because of what it was. And I sat back and I was like, you fucking did it. And that's fantastic. Oh, my God. I'm trying to remember what it was. Jesus. You said it recently, too. Really? Yes. Mm. All right, so you can tell me off here. Right? Or you want to tell me on here? <laughs> you sure? I mean... I don't want to tell you at all. I want, I want all right. you to... You're, you are such a... Okay, all right. Uh, don't I'll, tell I'll me. Put, I'll put it to you like this, right? Don't it's, tell I'm me. I'm not going to tell this. If I tell you what this is, it will be the equivalent of when that picture of burning Godzilla leaked on the, on the uh, internet. And I was like, fuck, I wanted to see that in the movie. All right, don't tell me. Mm -hmm. I want to see it myself. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they got this from what we said? Or do you think they just always no, had to say it? No, no, no. I, it, it was something – how do I put this? It was something that didn't have to be done. But the fact that they did it means that, A, they're listening to everybody who's asked for it. And B, oh God! They have a respect for what. Okay. Are they going to have Uncle Ben in a scene that what? say, "With great power comes great responsibility"? No. No. 
it, it well, like I'm saying, it's something that shows that they they're listening to the people who asked for it, and that they have respect for the Spider-Man films that came before Tom Holland's run. Oh. It's not Doc Ock showing up after Molina. No. I don't know. Well, you'll just have to see the movie. Well, what I really about hope the, this is true because if this isn't true, I'm gonna look like a complete ass on. Well, it. what about what I, about the other after credit scene? Um. You said there's two. Is is it good? Oh, you know, I don't remember. This one was so good, I actually don't remember what the other after credit scene was. And I said it recently, you're saying? Wow. You said this recently, which is one of the reasons why, which is one of the reasons why I thought it was so funny. But this is something that you said in the past that you're like, if they just do this, I will be happy. Right. And I was like, I was like that seems like something kind of small. And you're like, yeah, but if they do it, it would be so perfect. What, like the soundtrack? Just, like the original soundtrack? Nope. No. Nope. Wow. I'm probably just too... too mesmerized to figure it out right now oh, man so it would totally change my perception that big of a deal I, it's not going to make you like homecoming no uh, i'll just say that but i think you'll just be so happy that they did this that even if homecoming well homecoming sucked but far from home if far from home is bad but they just do this one thing, you're going to be like, at least they did this, and this is canon in the MCU now. It's canon. So what does that have to do with alternate realities? No. No. It's canon in the MCU. I don't know. Jesus. And if you tell me I'm, it's going to take away from me enjoying it, you're saying? The surprise? You're, yeah. Okay. You'll All still right. like it, but it, it it's something that you have to be like, oh my gosh, they actually did that? That will give you the, the excitement. I'm, am I going to cry? You might. You, you, might really? shed, you might shed tears of joy. Like, they did it. Yes. And then you. Oh my God. You just start crying. Like, oh my God. Now, again, I, I'm just saying, take it with a grain of salt. But if I was a betting person, I would say that this is probably what it is. So, this is something that I just going to affect me where I'm going to go crazy, like, this is the greatest movie ever, type of thing. Just because of that not, one scene. I, I, would, I wouldn't go that far, but you're, you're going to be like, holy shit, they actually did it. I said they should do that. And they did it, and it's perfect. Wow. Okay. Man. This is going to be your burning Godzilla moment for this movie. And I said Andrew Garfield. Did that. That's what you're saying? Even then I said something about it? Hmm. You said that they could do this in Andrew Garfield's timeline and in the Tom Holland run and it would just be perfect, and they should just, just do it because there's no reason not to. Wow. Okay. Got a week. Freaking week to see this movie. And the end game after credit scenes are not related to it, or it is related to Far From Home? No, I have no idea. Hmm. I would assume so, but, you know. Listen, I, you know what? I love great news. And you know how I feel about Spider-Man. It's my favorite thing. Favorite, trust me. That's why I think you're going to like favorite this Favorite thing in the world. So, I think got this little guy. <laughs> but, um, all right. Great news, Chris. Thank you. Um, of course, I'll be seeing it the day it comes out. So, very excited about it. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.